The last several buttons in the viewport toolbar are all very straightforward, so I'd like to go through them all just kind of in one real quick go. Now this includes post-process volume previs, toggle squint mode, camera movement speed, play in viewport, tear off floating copy, and finally maximize viewport, which I already have active in this case, so let me go ahead and just switch that off. Now I have opened up the CTF Sandstorm for this example, which you're welcome to open up on your end as well, though it's not really necessary. You can open up any level and get an idea of what these do. Now the first button is Post Process Volume Previs. Now what this does is this allows you to activate and deactivate the effects of any post-process volumes that may be applied in your level. Now this is not going to be particularly useful if you're not in game mode. So I'm going to switch over to game view mode by clicking on the little letter G here. And now as I switch off post-process volume previs, you can see what kind of happens here. We get this kind of nice yellowish uh, post-process effect that really kind of makes it look like we have a lot of dust hanging in the air. Like you should almost be having a hard time breathing here. If we switch off post-process volume previs, that goes away. So we're just getting an idea of how that post-process is affecting our scene. That's really all there is to it. Now we also have squint mode. Squint mode is really it's just a way for you to see what your level would look like if you were squinting your eyes. This is really good if you're trying to get an idea of the overall color and tone of your level. Uh, oftentimes, if you're building something inside your, your levels, like at least back in the day, you'd find yourself kind of squinting at your monitor just to get an idea of how overall colors were, were blending together. And now you don't have to do that. You can just switch squint mode on and off. However, as with post-process volume previs, you will want to be in game mode to see the results. So if you're clicking the squint mode button and you're not getting any results, switch over to game view mode, and then there you go. Now next to this, we have the camera movement speed button. We have two ways we can use this. What this does really is it allows us to change how quickly our camera moves through our level. So let me switch over to game mode just because it kind of smooths things out. So I'm just moving my mouse a little bit and there's how quick we're moving. If I left click on this button, we go all the way to full speed and now I'm flying quite a bit more quickly. And if I click it again, we go to low speed and now I'm moving very slowly. Now that's me moving my mouse at pretty much the same rate each time. If you play with it, it starts to become really clear how this works. If you right click on it, you can actually choose from a drop down which speed you want. So I'm just going to leave it at normal. Now next to this we have what is probably my favorite button in the entire viewport. I'm going to save it for last because it's too cool and I'll get distracted. Uh, let's jump over one to tear off floating copy. Uh, the name pretty much says exactly what it does, but let's go ahead and click on it anyway. And we get a little floating viewport. So if you want a separate copy, you can drag this over to a separate monitor, or if you've got like a browser window up and you also want to be able to see a viewport, uh, these tear-off windows can be very handy. When you're done, just close them and they go away. We have the Maximize Viewport button, which I've already been using if you've been watching these videos. It just kind of helps when you're demonstrating. If you click on this, your viewport gets maximized. That's really all there is to it. When you're done, you can click it again and that'll demaximize and put everything back down to its normal size, which brings us two buttons back to play in viewport the coolest button in the whole viewport toolbar because you can click this and you get a little bit of a, a load and then as soon as that's done referencing all the shaders you are on red. we can actually play the game right here inside the viewport which as far as I'm concerned is just one of the coolest things ever so if you really want an idea of how your level is playing how your game is working out then uh, you can test it right here inside the viewport without having to do anything special so that, I think, wraps up all of the remaining buttons for the viewport toolbar, and that will also wrap up this video. Thanks.